Right? Well, update. <clears throat> I got it running. <laughs> Boy, did I ever get it running. I got it running, but it ran away. Uh, which meant that I had to stuff in a, a piece of foam in the air intake because it was just getting faster and faster and faster. But the high pressure fuel pump works. Um, instead of replacing the pins, what I did is I took 500 grit wet sandpaper and I cleaned the uh, nozzle pins um which you know the <laughs> they're lapped when they're when they make them they're lapped meaning that they make the, the two parts together so it's super calibrated um but you know it's just wanted to get fuel flowing so i swapped them out got the pressure to here ran the pump got it pressurized ran the engine without the the valves got it going and it took quite a bit to actually get it cycled but the problem is that the governor or the the stop governor is dislocated which means i got to take the whole front off again take the belts off take the wheel off take the pump off pull the whole thing out disconnect the uh, fuel lines and check why that is um, not functioning but this is the end of six months of trying to get this thing going stripping it new engine mounts rewired fuel system everything so i'd call it a success or a partial success to this point and uh we're looking good Chain. off the pump one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen loosen off the feed disassemble each of the lines Loosen off number one. Loosen off number one. Remove number one. Loosen off number two. <sighs> important that when you assemble the fuel pump that the low, lower compression chamber is tighter than the high pressure line fitting otherwise 
you'll never be able to get it off. It'll just spin undo it there undo it here remove number two remove number three <clears throat> once all three are removed remove the feed the feed screw and then all four bolts holding in the fuel pump release pressure from the cams Two bolts holding in the, the uh, water pump. Now, any bolts with washers, and there's only three, are going to be holding on other components. The uh, tensioning arm for the alternator and the water pump. These are longer bolts and they got washers. Okay. All bolts holding the timing cover are off. Next is to disassemble the oil pressure line. Remember to reinstall it. Moving the water pump out of the way. It's just hanging there. And we're ready to gently pull this thing off. Now, now the trickiest bit here is that because the cams, there's three cams for this fuel pump, and when you try to pull the cover off, one of those cams is going to be catching on the, the lifting wheel. And so vice grips on the drive shaft and turning the crankshaft until you can loosen that pump off of those cams. I know, right, this is field expedient. And so we're gripping the machined edge of that uh, crankshaft, which is a huge no-no. I get it. But this is the only way, apart from taking the entire engine apart, uh, to get it off. So ad hoc. You can see here the three lobes and when you're turning this to pull it off you need to get it so that the three lifter riding wheels here are actually free of the cam lobes. Now you can see that this is scored and marked. Unfortunately that is the result of said operation. You can see that the centrifugal governor control is in the correct position. And that's extremely important. When you put this back together, you got to make sure that these lobes are correctly aligned and that these spacer bearings are in the correct position on the outside. There's two with finger bearings or needle bearings that goes on the outside and rides against the lifting guide which controls the injection control. So now that we've got that we can pull the fuel pump out and disassemble it. <clears throat> I don't think there's a way to show this single-handedly, but I'm going to pull this pin out.
and we're gonna use our forceps to remove each pin control guide and we want to keep everything in isolation new valves are here so we'll go through the process so um moment of truth are the replacements the same as the originals i think they are sorry about the light it's terrible um yep i think they are so we reassemble And hopefully that solves the problem. Well, it turns out that the washers are important. Took everything apart. These are the wrong size. They're about uh, three eighths of an inch too short on the uh, on this side. Um, so anyways, I disassembled the, the pump again and noticed that there was a washer missing where this seats. And at first I started, you know, fashioning a new one out of another one. And then I thought, hmm, maybe it's in my spare bits here. And there's not very many spare bits, but there were some. And sure enough, there was the correct washer. There was another one missing here that was lot that got crushed in the spring. And I did fashion another one out of a, another ring and put it back in. So. <laughs> She starts and she stops. What more can you ask for? And she runs. So, mission accomplished. The engine is running. Yay.